welcome to today's Grow It Green. We're at Bedford Fields in Bedford, New Hampshire. I'm joined by Margaret Hagen from UNH Cooperative Extension. Margaret, with that Thanksgiving Day storm, a lot of people have some down greens. You've come up with an idea <laughs> and with a little creativity, show them what can be done with those, right? So if you have a lot of down greens and you have a spare nursery pot or two lying around, you can fill it with some soilless mix and then collect what's around your yard on the ground. And lots of evergreens will look really nice in here. Hemlock, fir, what, um, arborvitae, whatever you've got. This is um, red twig dogwood from which you can collect or purchase either way. And then some of our native, native winterberry. Okay, and uh, sometimes if you use artificial ones, uh, the beware. The birds will try to the eat birds them. Will try to eat them. <laughs> now, another thing, a lot of people look to get some color in their house this time of year, and this is really the standby, the traditional one around the holidays. But also, we have some alternatives. Well, as there are well, other right? there are other things you can use, and you might want to actually consider some of these for a tabletop decoration at Christmas. Just on a mirror, they'll look really lovely. Now, a lot of people are obviously familiar also with the Christmas cactus, right. and it comes in a lot of different colors. Right, and it it will, doesn't need a lot of care. If you water it once every three weeks or so, it'll be fine. And the cyclamen um, requires a little bit more care, but both of these will tolerate pretty cool temperatures, which is nice. And also the cyclamen, again, coming in different colors, oh, yes. too, so you can mix and match oh, that, yes. too. Oh, yes. You can get peach or yellow or white, whatever All right. you like. And then we have the traditional poinsettia, poinsettia. there. And Something you might want to consider um, in that same line with the Christmas cactus is a succulent called Kalanchoe, and they, too, require very little care, and they'll tolerate winter temperatures. Um, not outside, but indoors if you go off to Florida and turn your thermostat down for a while. And then a lot of people try to force these things during the winter time. Don't oh, yeah. And yes, amaryllis are very popular and they come in a lot of different colors and they make a really nice. Um, pop somewhere in your house. And then we've got something that looks like little mini Christmas trees right. here. And right, and I kind of like the little mini Christmas trees because I think the smaller size, maybe with the frosty fern um, and the same pot on the bottom lined up in your Christmas table would look really nice. Okay. And then lastly, don't forget the hollies because there are lots of different kinds of hollies. Some are variegated like this, some not. Well, some will have berries. And either in a, as cuts in a vase or as a pot, they look really nice. Okay. And as far as lighting, you just need to check for the individuals and heat uh, right. and temperatures and D things like that. Depending on whether or not you want to keep them after Christmas. All right. Well, there are some alternatives for your Christmas table or so get some color in your house. And happy holidays to you. Back to you in the studio.